Hi, my name is Daniel Knapp. And I'm Ali Grams, and we are the student marketing team for our production of Unity 1918. We're here with our director, Glynis Lation. She's one of Canada's most respected theatre and opera directors, and we have the delight of asking her some questions about the show. What are some of your joys and challenges that you have experienced so far working with us in Unity? Well, Unity 1918 by Kevin Kerr is a complicated play in that it's, it's, it's filmic. It's a lot of very uh, complex episodes strung together in uh, almost tidal wave of action. It all takes place in a very short period of time, just at the end of World War I. So for me, uh, as a director, it's working with you uh, to realize your characters in the intensity of the situation, which is about a town overwhelmed by uh, the, in the pandemic flu epidemic of 1918. But within that, the life of the town and the life of and young love uh, that is occurring at the same time this, this horrible disease is threatening everyone within. I'm working hard with you in terms of the scenes and making the scenes as vibrant and as alive as possible. But as a director, my big challenge is making sure that all of those multiple scenes are, are flow together. So it feels like a river of action, that it's a, almost a tsunami of action, so that it just keeps pressing forward to the climax that Kevin has so beautifully and elegantly created for us. Now this, I believe, is your fourth show with the company CCB Ensemble? It is, it is. What do you like about working CC, with CCBA? I like the youth, I do. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that one of the really great joys of having worked a lifetime in theatre in Canada is now at this stage for me an opportunity to work with young artists. And I work with young artists in the opera world, uh, Banff, I was head of the opera program there for training. Uh, I work with various programs and I also really enjoy working with young actors uh, on, on the next generation. On, I learn so much from you uh, in terms of the sensibility of the time, what's happening, your interests, your energy, the focus, what you engage in, what you don't engage in. So uh, the cliche of um, learning uh, from, from youth is not a cliche at all. It's a truth for me and it's something that I really, really do enjoy and treasure in my relationship here as I live in Victoria, here at home with Canadian College of Performing Arts. Well, we're definitely having fun working with you. Yes, <laughs> for sure. This play is written by Kevin Kerr. Yes. What about Kevin's writing attracted you as a director to want to do Unity? Well, Kevin Kerr is a remarkable writer. He's, he's in the uh, creative writing department at UVic now. But I knew him as a young performer, young actor, Studio 58. Uh, he got together with a group of his peers, much as you might here at CCPA, and they created something called the Electric Company. And even in their very first show, which was called Brilliant, it was about Tesla, uh, before everyone had heard of the car, it was Tesla. <laughs> and uh, they did a remarkable job, and I, I had my eye on them as incredibly talented group. Kevin emerged from that talented group with a focus on the writing. And I think he's matured into, well, I don't think, I know he's matured into one of our most accomplished playwrights. He writes empathetically, he writes from the heart, he writes uh, big challenges. He doesn't try and pretend that it's going to be just for people talking in a room. He wants to tell a cinematic story and uh, engage us in images and physical work as well as the beauty of his words. So, um, and I think because he started as an actor and still is an actor, I think that Kevin understands something very important about theater, that it lives in action, it lives with those characters, that dialogue is active. And I think even some wonderful writers don't always, uh, I think there's a reason Shakespeare was, a, was an actor <laughs> and why his plays appeal to us uh, so much from a performance point of view as well as the literary beauty. And I think that that's something Kevin brings to, to it, is, is the sense of, of how we can make this work in an interesting way theatrically. We're using mostly live Foley sounds for the show. What was your inspiration in choosing that as the main sound state for the show? Well, I think one of the, the reasons I wanted to do Unity uh, was because it provides the idea of a town, 
much like Thornton Wilder's Our Town, which is another production uh, from a few years ago that uh, Company C did that I thought was terrific. Jimmy Fagan Tate mm -hmm. directed that one. I thought it was terrific, and I liked the idea of the ensemble. And when you, you have an ensemble, uh, and when you have young people that are used to creating uh, with their bodies and with sound a, a world, it doesn't always have to be musical theater, does it? I mean, it, those skills can translate into a world that we're creating in terms of uh, a drama, uh, albeit with a lot of dark humor, but it still is a drama. And so I wanted to uh, bring your talent and your, your sense of theatrical sound in a non-naturalistic way, not just a series of tape sound cues, but how can the human voice and a few uh, percussion instruments give us the texture of that prairie wind, of that uh, sense of the ominous danger, how, what does a threshing machine actually sound like? Those, that kind of thing, that was where I started and then I went, as we evolved, we realized we had someone in the company that could be a very good baby crying. And so we didn't need any. We did, we did it all with live sound. Lastly, what do you hope audiences take away from Unity 1918? That's a big question. It is. <laughs> I always hope that uh, the audience will take away from our production as an authentic sense of the story, that they are compelled uh, to enter in the lives of some very beautiful and, and very young characters facing enormity, both in the trenches of World War I, but also, and, and for Kevin more importantly even, uh, the dangers that came at the end of that tragic war, where more people died of the flu pandemic than died in the trenches. But we forget, we forget that. So what does that kind of uh, ravishing disease do where, where love conquers, where two sisters can love each other so empathetically and so powerfully, where young love can, can exist and flower even in the midst of such devastation. That's what I hope the audience take with them. I think, in fact, rather than a sad, sad story, I think it ultimately is a triumph. It shows the triumph of the human spirit in enduring and persevering even in the most difficult of times. And that, I think, is an honor and something that we're aspiring to. Thank you for chatting with us today, Glynis. You're welcome. Unity 1918 runs from November 28th to December 1st at the CCPA Performance Hall, 1701 Elgin Road, Victoria, BC. Won't, Won't wanna, wanna miss, miss it! it. <laughs>